Former President Donald Trump is on the campaign trail today, and tonight he'll hold his first campaign rally since the apparent assassination attempt on Sunday. Now, that event will be taking place on Long Island here in New York. He is expected to focus on immigration and the economy. Last night, Trump appeared at a town hall in Flint, Michigan, which was moderated by Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Now, before Trump took the stage, Sanders spoke about her children and then had this to say about Vice President Harris. My kids keep me humble. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kamala Harris doesn't have anything keeping her humble. CBS News campaign reporter Libby Cathy is following uh, the Trump campaign for us. She's joining us from West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, I, I want to ask you about comments made by Governor Sanders about Harris's lack of biological children. She also mispronounced her name, which seems purposeful by this point. But that sentiment is similar to what we've heard from Senator J.D. Vance, Trump's running mate, uh, almost criticizing people that don't have biological children. So many of our viewers, so many voters have families that... that go outside of bi biology. What's behind this strategy for the Trump campaign? Like, who are they trying to win over with this? Yeah, that's right. Good afternoon, Errol. So Governor Sanders saying this comment last night is probably not going to help Republicans in the Trump campaign make inroads with these women that they've been losing ground with. There is a gender gap in this campaign. Polling is showing. And so last night, that might be why you see some Trump campaign surrogates already distancing themselves from this comment by the Arkansas governor, Brian Lanza, a Trump campaign surrogate on CNN last night, saying he was disappointed in Sarah that he found this comment offensive and that he knows the Trump campaign is trying to win over those voters that, as you talk about, many American families that don't look the traditional way. And I will say that Kamala Harris does have two stepchildren. She has nieces and nephews and her two stepchildren, the biological mother of, of them, they she went on social media last night to defend Kamala Harris, to criticize Sarah Huckabee Sanders. But yeah, this comment coming at a time when Republicans, when the Trump campaign are trying to make inroads with women may not be particularly helpful. Now, speaking of inroads, uh, we know that Trump is campaigning in New York as well. This is, a, generally speaking, a blue state um, at a time when campaigns are really focusing on those battlegrounds where polling shows it's close between Trump and Harris. So why is Trump focusing attention here? Does it have more to do with down-ballot races where Republicans have actually made some gains? Uh, that's exactly right, Errol. New York is a blue state. There is very little chance that Trump will carry that state come November, although he says that he could. The reason more so for his visit there today on Long Island in Nassau County is that that is a Republican stronghold within a blue state, and Republicans want to make sure to hold on to that. Uh, Nassau County is key to maintaining control of the House of Representatives come next year. So Republicans want to make sure to keep their seats because obviously if President Trump is elected, he can do a lot more with a Republican majority backing him. And of course, Trump does spend a lot of time in New York as it is. He has that residence in Trump Tower, has spent a lot of time there with the, with court cases. And this is not his first rally in the state. He held a rally in the South Bronx in May. But Democrats love to see this. They love to see him in Uniondale, New York today, because they say as long as he is in New York, he is not in a battleground state, like you mentioned, Errol. All right. Libby Cathy joining us from Florida. We appreciate it.